Hey everyone, my name's the Ragamuffin Man, and in today's video, we're gonna be opening a full box of Alpha Clash. So, a little while ago, I got a package in the mail containing some starter decks for Alpha Clash, as well as a booster pack, which I opened because I can't contain myself, and a full booster box of the Kickstarter edition of Alpha Clash. So, as part of my review for Alpha Clash, which I'll not spoil here, I might give some first impressions while opening the box, I am gonna be opening this box because I wanted to use the footage in the review, and I thought, hey, I make YouTube videos I may as well milk it for another video. So anyways let's get stuck into the Alpha Clash box opening and see what we have inside. So let's break into this box and as far as I'm aware inside an Alpha Clash box there are 24 packs. We'll just take a look. Dive into your world of heroes and super powered action with the Alpha Clash trading card game. Inside you'll find 24 packs full of uncommon heroes and sinister villains. Choose your side and build the ultimate deck and become the champion. So there we are, Alpha Clash. We're going to be opening all 24 packs. We do have a box topper. The box topper we got was Magnate the Tyrant. So there we are, there's our Magnate the Tyrant. And we'll take all the packs out. We'll get a look at one of the packs. We'll start kind of slowish, just to kind of see what's inside, and then we'll move on from there. So there are nine cards in a pack. Uh, inside it says, this booster contains nine additional trading cards, including five common, two uncommon, one rare, and one guaranteed foil, common, uncommon, rare, epic, iconic, rare, legendary, or alpha rare card. So those are the rarities, we've got nine per pack. Um, weird one is that this, the, the Terran, little Terran slip is on the left. Normally you see them on the right. So uh, me being right-handed is probably just gonna mess this up. So yeah, there's gonna be packs flying everywhere. So at the start, we've got Torque. Torque redirecting damage. We've got the Torque Contender card. I don't know if that's, uh, I wonder if that's like by design that you get you know, the uh, the actual Torque cards all in the same pack. Also, again, for anyone that uh, sees cuts and stuff in the video, uh, the reason why that I do cuts in these videos is because the camera up above, I always check to see if it's working, because if it doesn't, you only get one go at a box opening. So just, just to let people know. We've got Weber's Assistant, Weber's Binoculars. This is part of the starter deck as well. Um, I've had a chance to play through the starter decks a, a, a while I did like two full play sessions with friends. Yep, we'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, Haven hiding in plain sight. Haven the resource, the resourceful helper. We've got Magnet the Undisputed. That's a an IR whatever that is. Oh my goodness, what is this craziness right here? Magnet the Undisputed. That's an is that a is that an iconic rare? I think that the rarity was what are they called? Iconic rare. So there's legendary and alpha above that. But my goodness, look, it's even got like a little gold foil stamp. Let's get that in a sleeve. So one thing I will say about these cards is that the cards feel great. You can tell that the quality is definitely there with these cards. Let's get let's get these sorted. Let's get these sorted into some kind of piles. Uncommon, uncommon, rare, and then we'll do our hits and we'll go over our hits at the end. So on to the next pack, on to this pack. So yeah, the artwork is fantastic. Um, the different heroes, uh, it, it's kind of an interesting sort of Marvel DC-esque uh, I mean, it feels more DC to me. I don't know why, but yeah, like a kind of a DC-esque kind of storyline. T-Bone Shockwave, Terrence T-Bone, uh, Bonnard, uh, the Avenging guy who is in, uh, he's in the starter decks as well. Torque again, Torque redirecting damage. Hold on a second. We got those two in a row last time. Hmm, let's see. Gotcha. Haven hiding in plain sight. Ancient Protection, which is a foil common, and Mark on the Hunt, which is our rare. So rare goes there, one, two, three, four, five. Uncommon, uncommon, and our foil common. We'll just leave, uh, I don't know, we need, here, foil commons and foil, I think they go there. My goodness. So yeah, I've seen a lot of people talking about Alpha Clash lately, and, uh, I've seen a lot of descriptions of it being like a magic alike. I've seen a lot of people saying that it is, you know, the next big thing in trading card games. I've heard like opinions from all across the board. Um, I, I've had some confusing uh, gameplay with it, uh, not in terms of the rules, but just in terms of like the direction and the game design. So I really want to try and formulate a proper review. I've been looking through these cards. Oh, look, Mean Street. I, I like that guy's artwork. I think he's in the starter decks as well. Morale boost. Moxie preparing for battle. They're in the starter decks. Then we have Clairvoyance. Clarity, the Clairvoyant one. Incoming support, which is foil common. And a earthly barricade rare. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm actually on the lookout for a few other things in the box, box opening because there are some things that do confuse me about the game uh, in terms of just the design and the design choices. Uh, however, I'm hoping that by reviewing some other people's kind of gameplay and by taking a look at the, um, the box opening itself that I can kind of get some more answers as to, you know, what the design decisions were. So like this game has traps, for example, and I want to see what other traps are available because I'm not quite convinced that we got a good cross section of these types of cards in the starter deck. Streaks Unbound, Surprise, T-Bone, Shockwave, Terrence, T-Bone, Bonnard. Yep, yeah, that we got those two in a row last time as well. And the Avenging guy, hold on a second. Did we, did we get that last time? We got Terrence, T-Bone, Shockwave, Terrence, T-Bone, Bonnard, the Avenging guy, then Torque, Torque redirecting damage in a pack before. So let's see. Oh, well, I suppose, yeah, we're out of commons now. That's a bit strange that you get, like, runs of the same type of card. Hopefully, that's just a Kickstarter collation thing. Flare Solar Force Uncommon, Gotcha Uncommon, and then an another Iconic Rare. My goodness. This box is handing out the goodies. We've got a Plasmax Clash card Rare, and then Haven Bountiful Collector. Again, I like these little, like, scratch kind of symbols. Um, I think they look pretty cool. Um, I just noticed as well that these are uh, Iconic Rare Clash cards, which I kind of like. I do have a, a, a video coming up as well. I'm not sure when it'll come out because I have block recorded like a whole bunch of videos and I don't know when anything's coming out. But I do have a Flesh and Blood video talking about high rarity in equipment. And I do think that sometimes high rarity in cards in your deck is better than cards out of your deck and it's like a discussion on that so it's really nice to see that there's like clash cards at high rarity like things that go in your deck as opposed to being like your contender or your hero for anyone that hasn't really played alpha clash moxie sidearm power overfluence sergeant weber shadows light beam shadow light and then we've got colonel edwards energy absorption and we've got magnet charging up which is a foil common action and giant grant park chicago my goodness can't even read and there we go. The, my goodness, these booster packs are like welded shut. Holy, my goodness, my thumb is actually sore trying to get under these things. I know that there is a little perforation. Uh, I'll try and learn how to open these better, but my goodness, these are sealed up tight. If you buy booster packs and you want to keep some sealed, you have no worry of these things coming unstuck. Sharpshooter Moxie, Sinister Assistant, Solar Flare, Sonoro, Spiritual Defense Common. Then we've got an Energy Blast Uncommon, Energy Shield Uncommon, Magnet Cunning Player, Foil Common, and Lin the Nanite Warrior. So we're picking up a bit of a head of steam now. Um, there we go. See, look, see, this is one of the things I don't like about these pull tabs as well um, in booster packs is that I always feel like I'm pulling into the card. I know some people say to pull sideways, but then that happens. So, I don't know, maybe I just don't have enough clout, like, opening booster packs, but, yeah. Or maybe it's, like, a multi-step thing that isn't supposed to be, like, as smooth, but who knows. Avenging Guy trying to help. Cal Lingbane of the Discarded. Captain Maxi Riggins. The Clarity Ageless Defender Contender. Clarity ready for a fight. Uh, so, I'm just looking at the center, and I don't know whether that blue line down the left was part of the artwork or not, but I think it is. Uh, Magnate Ready to Fight Uncommon, Magnate's Gamma Spear Uncommon, Clarity Clairvoyant One, Foil Uncommon, and Sonoro the Awakened Breaker Rare. So there we go. Um, yeah, uh, so for anyone that has played Magic the Gathering, just to kind of talk about, you know, the game from me putting a few hours and actually playing it now. Uh, right, now that's it. I need scissors. I need scissors. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Look, Alpha Clash, you've, you've brought out the big guns. This is happening. Um, is that if you've played Magic the Gathering in the past and you know like basic Magic, like even if you've just played like arena starter decks, you'll you'll be comfortable, you'll know like 90% of this game already. You just kind of have to learn like a change in terminology and that's really about it. So like, you know, summons would be clash cards and things like that. So it's, you know, and like actions I think or like sorceries or I don't know what it is. But anyways, that's, the, you'll know straight away when you start playing like, oh, that is like equivalent to this in Magic. Clarity's 1911. Uh, Deflect, Denver, Destructive Arrival, Detroit. We've got two Clash Grounds. There we go. Uh, Magnate's Trap, Uncommon. Mean Streak, Newfound Powers, Uncommon. And a Foil Colonel Edwards, Uncommon. Sonoro, the Fierce, Fierce Fighter, Rare. Did we get one of those already? I'm pretty sure I've seen that already. No. No. I guess I was just making it up. Anyways, time to get the scissors back out. 
Actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna cut the tops off all the packs just to make this go a bit quicker. So there we are, all the little tops all cut off all the packs. That should be us now ready to go uh, without having to kind of stop the cut packs every so often. I kept the packs in their original order so we can see like if a rare appears in like a certain spot in the box or something like that, we'll take a look. So here we are, next one is Energy Explosion, Flare, Garfield, Park, Lagoon, Incoming Support, and Magnate Charging Up. Then we've got Mean Streak, Unique, Speedster, Menacing, Magnate, and we've got a Foil Uncommon, Energy Absorption, and a Torque, Rare, Clash card there. I'm trying to get my terminology correct. I don't want to, like, mess it up. I know I probably will mess up terminology here and there, but I am playing a lot of new games lately. I'm reviewing absolutely tons of games and having an absolute blast doing so. But sometimes you kind of get your terminology a bit mixed up, and it is... Uh, kind of a normal thing to start referring to uh, different terms as their like magic equivalent or like something or like their flesh and blood equivalent or something that you're used to. So apologies if I mess up the terminology. Spiritual defense, streak absorbing blow, streaks assemble, streaks inbound, three streaks cards. Surprise! Then we've got streaks engage, uncommon, T bone powers unlocked, uncommon. Clarify! Is that a legendary? Oh my goodness, and then Clarity's Dagger Rare. Um, as far as I'm aware, Legendary is a rarity above the iconic rare that we got before. My goodness, check that out, Clarity. Unrivaled, only one card with Unrivaled is allowed per deck. Take con control of target alpha clash card and opponent controls and put it into your clash zone ready. If you control both a Haven and a Clarity Clash card, you may reduce the resource cost to play this card by two. Oh my, oh, and it's an eight resource, like an eight white resources card. Oh my goodness. So let's check what we've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. So we're like nearly halfway through. So anyways, let's move on. We've, we're kind of used to all the commons, rare, so that stuff by now. So one, two, three, four, five commons, two uncommons, and then another double pack. So we've got a Torque Epic. This is... Oh, and a foil rare. Okay, so we've got double foil packs. This was the second last pack on the bottom of the row, I think. But this is an... I think it's an epic... Yeah, epic one below iconic rare. So there we are, and then legendary was one above that. And then there's an alpha rare above that again. So, okay. But we got a legendary hat for the box. So I'm assuming that that's kind of like the box content. But who knows? Who knows? So we've got an epic. I'll put it up here with all the other fancy ones. Because I kind of think it's because it's above rare. It's, it's fancier. So, yeah... That's, that's just my thoughts behind it. One, two, three, four, five. Got Lefty on the way on common. Lefty's last stand. Then we've got another double foil pack. And another epic as well. Does that mean if you get an epic, you get like a foil rare as well? Either way, I'm not sure. This is Clarity Foreseeing Fate. There we go. It seems that some of the epic cards as well. I've noticed that this Torque one isn't. But some of the epics are exclusive. So you can only have one in your deck. But some of them aren't. So there you go. Oh, sorry, exclusive means only one can be in your control. Ah, oh, right. It's probably just the balance power levels. Who knows? Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. And this, now we've got a kill. Another epic? That's like three in a row? Kilimanjaro Ascendant Champion. Sinister San Francisco Rare. Well, there you go. Where's my sleeves? There we go. That artwork is fantastic. You can tell that they put a lot of, like, stock into their artwork. They put a lot of you know, effort and uh, like making sure that even though it is comic booky, it feels comic booky, that it's still kind of serious and has like a serious style to it, which is pretty cool. So I think we're pretty much well in the second half of the box now. So we're just going to kind of bomb through it as we were there. One, two, three, four, five, two. And then we've got Antarctica common foil and a Moxie Prime to Clash rare. Um, cutting the tops off these is definitely the way to go, by the way. Um, just keeps... Keeps the packs kind of flowing nicely and it's so difficult to open. <laughs> energy Blast, Uncommon Foil and Torque Expelling Energy Rare onto the next one. One, two, three, four, five commons. Two uncommons, Energy Shield, Uncommon Foil and a Warcry Sign of Hope Rare. Then we've got Shadow Light, Shadow Light, three, four, five, and then Uncommons, one, two, Flare, Solar Storm, Uncommon, that artwork is fantastic. I gotta say, see like sparkly foils like this on cards? I just love them. Either sparkly foils or those type of foils that are like, you can see like the swirls, like the Cosmo foils and like Pokemon, like these kind of old schooly type foils, love them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Magnate ready to fight, Magnate Scamosphere, Sinister, San Francisco, Rare, and then Rare, New York City. So you can get a Rare foil in the Rare slot if you get another foil, but you can also, uh, who knows, but either way, yeah. 
Double foils are nice in packs that have double foils. That's that's the takeaway. Three, four, five. Magnate's Trap means streak. Solar Smash rare foil again. And a normal rare Plasmax. So we are really getting a lot of the rare foils at the minute. Let's, let's hope that keeps going. We get a double hit box. Wouldn't that be class? Two, three, four, five. Mean Streak, Menacing, uh, menacing Magnate, and then Sonoro the Awakened Breaker, Rare Foil again, <laughs> and then a Rare Sogaboo and Haven. There we go. So we got four packs left. I think that that might be at two, three, four, five. This is a, another double foil pack. <laughs> Magnate ready to fight. Magnate's Gamosphere. We've got Deflect, Common Foil, and Morak on the Hunt. Foil Rare. Never say no to a double foil pack. That's awesome. That was at the bottom of the last row as well. Let's check this one just to see. Yeah, it's another double foil pack. This time with two, three, four, five. Limit Adult Fighter, Machina, Clarice, 1911. Uh, common foil and then Mean Streak Intercepting, Rare Foil. There we go. So two packs left to go. Uh, I think our legendary is our, our hit from the box, which is nice, or our big hit from the box. Who knows, maybe it's like a case thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the breakdowns are. But either way, one, two, three, four, five. Mean Streak, Unique, Speedster, Menacing Magnate. We've got an epic, an epic to, I think, end the box. We've got one pack left. Uh, Kagan, the Dragon, Sogaboo, and Haven. Oh, there we go. So that's a serious amount of like epics and like above rare cards. So last pack, let's see. Last pack magic, Weber's Affliction, Amazon Rainforest, Ancient Protection, and Urtica. Then our Uncommons, Clarity, the Clairvoyant one, Colonel Edwards, and our foil is. Oh, Alpha Aster Giver of all. That's the guy from the front of the packs. Oh, amazing. This is the Alpha Rare. Is that like the highest rare? It is. So there's like the common, uncommon, rare, epic, iconic, rare, legendary, which we got. And then Alpha Rare card as well. So this is like above that again. This is like the... I think I, I watched the box opening where someone mentioned it was on in the background. I didn't quite like give it a lot of attention because I didn't know what I was looking at. But I think someone mentioned this being like a fabled in flesh and blood, like a super high rarity card. But there we are. Alpha Aster, giver of all. My goodness. Last pack magic indeed. So let's get a look through our hits for the box then. We have our Kagan the Dragon Epic Rare. Kilimanjaro Ascendant Champion Epic. Clarity Foreseeing Fate Epic. Torque the Uncontrollable Epic. Haven Bountiful Collector Iconic Rare. I love the, the foil with the little like scratch gold kind of like sign thing on it. Magnet, the Undisputed Iconic Rare. Then Clarify, Legendary, and Alpha Aster, Giver of All. My goodness, check this guy out. That is amazing. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching this box opening. That was an insane opening that is just, wow, did not expect a crazy double hit box. But yeah, I will have a review of Alpha Clash going up in hopefully like a week or so after this. I'm gonna, I know I said I block recorded a whole pile of videos. Uh, and what I'm going to try and do is kind of put games like close to each other so the box opening and the reviews kind of come out together for games that I'm doing that. Um, yeah, I've got tons of reviews coming up so if you like new TCGs and you want to see what's going on out there in the world of trading card games beyond the big games then make sure to stay tuned to the channel. If you like stuff like this then make sure to get subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.